I wanted to soak it all in. And then I got to do six again. So now doing that same thing again as Howard, like trying to soak it, I was like, wow, this is like deja vu. I'm having deja vu. It was really, really cool. Like, geez, how lucky am I that I got to do this show twice? I mean, honestly, I think about it all the time. I am just the luckiest girl ever. And I can't believe that I got to now do it as an alternate too. Like, this experience has just been amazing. And I feel like I don't say it enough. Come in. Hi, hey, Lisa. How are you? I am great. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. She thought she said goodbye. Thank you. I'll see you down there. Not the connection again, guys. You're the only one who knows me, babe. So hard you hurt my feelings. Yeah, very weird feeling. Very sweet. Very, um... Grateful, I don't know. And I'm excited for what's next. Like I, I don't have anything lined up, which is the first time in a while that that's been the case for me. Like I've been lucky enough the last couple years to like have work lined up. Ooh, hi, to have work lined up for myself, you know? Um, which is nice. Cause then you aren't ever like without a job but it's also hard because you don't get time off and you're kind of going, going, going. Um, and you don't have time to focus on much else or see family or anything like that. And so I'm happy actually that I don't have anything lined up quite yet. Like I want to take some time to recalibrate <laughs> and um, you know, focus on myself and see my friends and all that stuff, so, yeah. <clears throat> Hi, pickled potato juice. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Jeremy Reads. I could see you on six on Broadway, that would be fun. <gasps> Hi, Mary Lou. Oh, thank you, it's good to hear from you. Tell Alex that I hope he's well. Oh, thank, thank you, Broadway Works. You're the best. I hope it's not my last par, but we'll see. Hi, Lauren Tross. Get over here. Hi, Kellyanne. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Ollie. Oh my God, a lot of besties here. Do you guys like my hair, first of all? Do you like my bald spot? <laughs> oh, don't look at it, actually. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I don't know. What do you guys think? How are you guys feeling about six closing? I know everybody's sad. It's a weird time for us all. Um, the thing about six though is that like, it tends to come back around, like, you know, obviously I came back around to six from doing the cruise ship to now doing this. So I'm gonna hope that it's not my last time with the show, but you know, you never want to assume anything. Because this industry can be interesting and unpredictable. So I'm trying to... Like, I, I always think it's really important to like respect an experience that you've had with a show for what it is. So like, for instance, I did Rock of Ages last summer. That is crazy that it was last summer. Wow. That is actually insane. Um, that feels like it was two minutes ago and it was a whole entire year ago. Um, time is flying. I'm having a crisis. We're going to spiral about that later, but I did Rock of Ages twice. And when I was finishing the first Rock of Ages show, I already knew that I was going into the second Rock of Ages show. Um, and it was with a very similar cast. Like a lot of us kind of moved from one Rock of Ages to the other. It was at different theaters, but I kind of regret the way that I handled that because um, I didn't properly say goodbye to the first production of Rock of Ages that I did. And because I was so focused on, oh, well, I'm just going to be doing it again. 
And so I didn't really give it a proper like moment, you know? And I wish that I had because that was a special group. And you know, I don't know. I feel like it's respectful to the experience that you just had with these people that have been your family for the last like three months, you know? So I'm trying to do that with this one, just like really be respectful of the experience that we've shared and cherish it while I still have it and not be too focused on what's coming next. Like try to really soak it all in and be intentional with the time that I have left with these people because they've been my family for the last year almost, so. And I think I did that well with the cruise ship cast. That's, that's one thing that I know I did do with them was we really soaked it in together and made every moment count towards the end. And I felt very like ready to say goodbye at the end. I felt very settled, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, those are just my thoughts. My thoughts, my feelings. I am going down swinging. What's everybody saying? Ooh, let it. Hi, Mags. Hi, Rubes. Good to see you. It's hot. Crystal Hernandez is my favorite cleaves too. She's the best. She freaking rolls. Thanks, pickled potato juice. That's really nice. Are you guys joining the stage on your last mega six? I actually don't think so. I don't know, actually. Don't quote me on that. It's weird with equity rules, like Everything's kind of different. I know that in the UK, they do like, the alternates come out like in costume on stage. I don't think they do that here, but also I know nothing. So don't quote me on that. Cause I don't want to leave anyone astray, but I don't think we're doing that. If we do, that'd be amazing. But I have a feeling it's a no. Guys, I saw Holly Humberstone in concert a couple weeks ago. She was phenomenal. Come in. Who could it be? James, Hi. come join the live. Hi, buddy. Guys, Jamie, the best stage manager in the world. We're wives. We're wives, and also she's my father. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy you're going on. I know, me too. It's kind of sad. I know. I want you to do my. Uh, Drag makeup one day. Hell oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Put your little phone. I know. I'll come back. Every month. Every of single course. Of course. Every single month. What are you talking about in your lives? I don't know. We're kind of chatting about leaving the show and what's next and Ralph's here actually. I think Ralph's here. Rafa? Uh, speak now, speak now. Now for ultra peace. She might have Wait, she needs to join. Can you imagine double live with Rafa? Didn't we join once? My life? Maybe. Oh, Maybe you guys did. Oh my gosh, you need your You don't put the tape on. I do, yeah, I just took it off. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it that straight. Okay, well, I'll let you go on your live. Okay, I love you. What are these? Did you get these? Oh. Hmm. Guess Linda doesn't think you're the best. So, what's that? Linda? <laughs> uh, Who is this from? Pop Rocks? Oh, yeah, yeah. Love that. Okay. I'll see you down there. I'm also vlogging today, so. Did you try these on? Yeah, they didn't fit. It's, they're too short, right? They're too short. I took your yellow ones, though. Okay. I like the yellow ones. I have beige of those. Give them. Give them to you. Oh my god. Okay, maybe these, are, maybe these are meant for me then. I I think they're cool. It's not. They're tailored for me, but they're too high. They're high waisted. Oh, high waisted. Yeah, they're very high waisted. I don't anymore, but. It made me look a little bit like a sailor from anything goes. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll give another one. Okay. Hey, love you. Love you. See you down there. Bye. Um, hi, Dars. Dars is here. Oh. If 
If I leave my fan letter at stage door tomorrow, will you still get it? Worried I'm too late. Oh yeah, I'll still get it. Yeah, I'm still here until Sunday when we close, so. I will still be here, don't you worry. Are you the last Slayer on? I don't know. See you soon, Darce. Get over here now. I don't know. It just, it really just depends on if someone gets sick or injured or whatever. Like, I really can't predict. We don't have any scheduled shows left. That's all I can say. So, like, there's no one scheduled to be on, if that makes sense. But, like, for instance, today, I was not scheduled to be on. And Lauren had to call out because she's not feeling well. So, like, stuff happens, you know? We were hoping for another Slayer alt skate, <laughs> which would have been amazing, but I think that's probably not gonna happen. Would you work in Toronto again? Yes, I would work in Toronto again. I love the city. Guys, the saddest part for me right now is that um, I've obviously been living in Toronto throughout winter which was brutal. <laughs> and now that the sun is coming out and it's like spring, it is simply divine here. It's so beautiful. And now I'm like, well, damn, I missed out on like the best part of living in Toronto, which is the summertime. So a hundred percent I would come back. I think the winter is a little tough. Like maybe I wouldn't work here during the winter, but, and also I made so many good friends here. Like that's the main thing. I've met so many good people that are gonna be my friends for life. Like I'm not even worried about it. So yeah, I for sure will be back. I'm already planning to be back like once a month until August. So I've got a lot of stuff going on. Don't you worry, I will be back. <clears throat> are you on tonight or Haley? No, I'm only on for the matinee today and Haley is not on tonight as far as we know. and check out the C and okay let's talk about that because is that like where I'm from in California there's this giant fair called the Orange County Fair and it's like this huge thing where there's like food there's rides there's events there's like petting zoos art music is that like the CNE is it similar Cause I think I looked it up like a while ago. I was looking up like good food to have in Toronto or whatever. And they had fucking crazy food at the CNE. It was like deep fried Oreos and like pickle French fries or some shit. I was like, wow, that is right up my alley. It's what we like to see. So hell yeah, I'd love to go to that. <clears throat> Actually, maybe I'll do that when I'm back in August. I'm back in August for two weeks to work on a new song, guys. So maybe I'll do it then. Hi, Taylor Shades Evans. My alternate bestie. Who's also been pretty much playing Cap and Par on the National Tour of Six. <laughs> Literally, you are the par. Hope it's been going amazing. Are you on today? Taylor, tell me. Because if we're on the same day, I may cry. Oh my God, Taylor, get in here. Taylor? Wait. Oh, Lynn! Lynn! Hi! I've never had someone in my live 
before. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm so good. I'm not on today that we know. Oh, damn. So. Okay, well, that's fine. You were on like a hundred times though. Yeah. No, I am. Um, I did. I've done 14 pars in the last like two and a half weeks. <laughs> that's literally actually, I think, more than I've done of all time. And I'm not kidding you. I think I've done 10. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I literally, I counted and I was like, wait. <laughs> I literally did 14 and I was like, oh my God. Are you having just a blast though? Tell me oh everything. I simply, um, this is simply the best job ever. I'm not going to lie to you. <gasps> Um, you I, it, it's fantastic. I'm also in Canada right now. Oh yeah, you're in Ottawa. I'm in Ottawa, yeah. Is that far? We, I don't even know. Um, I don't know. We had a layover in Toronto, and I simply was like, "This is criminal." The fact that I have a three-hour layover in Toronto, and I can't so go close be, yet. So far, I said, "This is <laughs> criminal." Um, <laughs> yeah. Where do you guys live? Syracuse. Oh my God, so people can come see you probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our um, our par is back. Adriana is back. Thank the Lord. Um, she was she was ill, very ill for a minute, and then she took a week. Of that leg that like everybody had. The leg, yeah. Um, Rude. Brutal. A week vacation already scheduled. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it just I mean, lined up that way to where it was like all in a row, and everyone was like, "Hello." Um, <laughs> Like, oh, I guess I'm just going to play Catherine Parr for two weeks. <laughs> right. I literally was like, and then, and then the, here's the thing. I did this to myself. I did it to myself. But I was like, oh, yay. Like, I had finished the scheduled shows for Parr, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, whew, I'm going to breathe. Free. Yeah. Um, so I had, last Saturday, I had Saturday off. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm backstage. This is, <laughs> I was like, oh. And then Cardinal Sin. I packed up my station Saturday night. Cardinal no. packed up my station Saturday Immediately. night. Immediately you're going um, on. Immediately. I get a call <laughs> before the matinee Sunday saying, hey, you're going to debut Howard. And I said, <laughs> <laughs> you said, oh, great. So right. love that. Right. I, let, let me, let me just <laughs> unpack my whole life. Right. Yeah. Cardinal. Wow. That's good. So how did your Howard debut go? I was emo. <laughs> Seeing the picture of you, I was a little bit like, wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Years in the making for you. No, I know. Literally, like, two, two years. So was it just a blast? I had so much fun. And my mom, my mom, she was with me all week, so she got to see my par, and then she was leaving Sunday, and I call her, and I said, Tracy, run. 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 <laughs> then I pulled out, so, like, she couldn't get a ticket. And then I told her just like in passing. I was like, like I was like, my mom's here, but she can't get a seat, whatever. And then I'm getting my wig on because thank God. Which, by the way, you have a full wig. Thank God. Wait, you thank God. 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 We got our seat. And I went, oh, and I'm crying. He was literally in the second row, and I simply didn't her. Oh my God, I would actually ball. I would so ball. I didn't see her because I was like not looking for her. Um, right. But like, apparently she was literally in the second row, and I just said, Girl, <laughs> we're here. She's like, Hi, I'm literally your mother. <laughs> On the, the like reference recording, because I like to look at the reference recording like after debut just to see it. Right. I, I literally, when I go over to her, I'm like, hi, mom. No, she's quite literally just in the center. And I, just, I am absolutely dead. She's like, hi, I'm literally right here. Like, queen, I'm, I'm right in front of you. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. I'm so glad that worked out. Yeah, no, we. you coded I felt so you coded when I had my like little wig on I was like oh no I felt I felt so you coded when I had my little wig on I was like I you are I'm so glad you have a full wig thank god no okay because also here's the thing 
one, my hair is not long enough. Two, yeah. Um, I simply don't have a lot of hair to begin with. <laughs> like my hairline. Let's use hair and hairlines. Oh. Like we're bald, guys. Bald. We can't fucking do it anymore. Bald. We are bald. bald. <laughs> Um, so I really need a wig. Um, and they were fantastic enough to be like, yes. And I said, oh, thank you. And also being a redhead, which I am a fake redhead. Correct. I'm also a fake brunette. It's fine. Being a redhead, um, is very difficult. It's very difficult for them to find stuff to match. Yeah. And also, you have to keep re dyeing it then. Like, your roots will grow out. It would be a mess. Stop. I need, hello. I need to get the mess off. Look at this. My little my, my white patch. Your little white, literally on and frozen. It's fine. My white patch. No, that'd be impossible. How are you? Me? I don't know. I feel, I'm, I feel sad, but I feel like ready to be done. You know? I feel sad, but I'm ready, and like I'm ready to have an actual summer. Cause I was just talking about how I have literally nothing planned, which is like a miracle. I'm so happy I get to like go home and actually have a summer, and like I'm going home to California for a whole month, like all of June. I know, can't wait. We're gonna miss each other. Darn it! I'm going. I'm to sad. Are you going back? To go back back home in August. That we will, in fact, we do, in fact, live in the same city. We do, and we never see each other. <laughs> we never see each other. I'll be back in July in New York. That's what okay. I'm I come back end of July, and then I'll go to uh, California in, like, August, and then come back. Yeah. Okay, we'll see each other. We will. For those who don't know, Abby and I went to – sorry, Abigail. I like how we're just, like, talking like we're on FaceTime, like, and there's just people, like, watching us have a full FaceTime conversation. Uh, I- Guys, Taylor and I went to school together. That's how we know each other. We went to college yeah. together. Um, I found a video on my phone from my senior year, your senior year, of us on campus when you had, like, long blonde, like, bleach, long blonde. Um, the new blonde era. And, oh, great. this is when I had my blonde hair extensions. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. That <laughs> yeah. was a moment in time. That was a moment in time. A moment. I I found that video on my phone and I was like, wow, wow. Literally, look where we are now. Like, what the hell is our life? I know. Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre, no. Jane Eyre. Force <laughs> Wow. B, that fucking classroom. That's crazy. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you. I have to see you in this show. Like, I really am going to do my darndest i'm gonna pull the six strings i um yeah abby has been the like one of the most supportive humans in my life like when it especially when it comes to six like yes just but like also <laughs> when it comes because let me tell you it it was a journey it's been a journey um, okay. journey and like abby was the main person that i <laughs> We went through like, like similar things, but um, it it just, Abby's been such a huge like support through all of this, and so like when I you know got this offer, I was like Abigail, immediate call. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know I'm just so happy it all worked out because like there's few people that understand like what it's like to go through something like that, you know? It's so it is hard. Tra- it is traumatizing. Traumatizing. Yes. And like you went through such a crazy period of like, cause that's hit hard to come back from. Like, honestly, I'm literally. Like, oh, every- all right. So what the hell do I do every- now? You mention of six, the musical, I simply would start to cry. Like of I course. literally yeah. did. I sense. couldn't think about six yeah. and like yeah. the next time I went in I cried and then when I went in for Canada I like I was like, everything is fine and then after Canada I literally I told them I was like you guys I can't do it anymore yeah, it hurts really bad. Bad. like please give me a break yeah I do it yeah, like, all of it paid off and like I just watching you like even through your Instagram and stuff like in all the costumes I'm just like wow 
the journey you've had, like, and now you're finally here. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. Like, I keep imagining, like, because I know even with me, like, the feeling of, like, you dream about what it would be like to do, like, par, for instance, for me. I was like, oh, dreaming about that moment where you put on the costume, you step out, and, like, you sing the song. I know. And it's, like, such a rush of, like, emotion and feeling, you know? No, I know. you finally do. Like you're there and you're doing it. It's crazy. Dude, I cry all the time. I'm I yeah. to be a crier. I I cry all the time. <laughs> Getting to play par. Like so I because I never went in for par. So like yeah. it <laughs> just Yeah, yeah, we had the same situation. Really? Um, but like I never went in for par and so I never really understood her. But then once I got her, I was like, oh she's right. Some reason is like really emo. Like I, I feel really yeah emo like, about her. I don't know why. Filled. Yes. So filled. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> um, I'm like, and oh, then scared and like scared also. <laughs> she's terrifying, but like she's so rewarding. So rewarding. And then yeah. getting to do Howard was so weird. That because I was would have just been on the floor watching you do that. Like, I don't know why. That one was the one that really got me, seeing you in that costume. I mean, for obvious reasons. Yeah. But, like, but like, I was like, hey. wow. I bet you want to put the crown on. That's it. <laughs> but yeah. When you, when you're done with all your put-in, so. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you're pretty much done with okay. put-in. Um, one last try to debut, you, which I think... I think I'm allowed to say it. I'm debuting on Friday for Bo. Hey! On the schedule. So okay. I'm allowed to say it. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. debuting Seymour tomorrow, and that's already like been said and announced and things. Yeah, you're but fine. I'm debuting Bo Friday. Amazing. Is that crazy? That's crazy. And how are your other standbys doing? They're all fine. They're like status quo. Everyone is killing it. Like Carlina Great. and I, really, Carlina and I really tag team. Okay. Yeah. We, we were in it together. We were like, Crazy. here we go, here we go. Crazy. And this, this is in the midst of our other put-ins. So like, every see, I can imagine that that is hard. Put-in that I have done, I have done another track that that. <laughs> so my bow put-in was that my. Is so fucked. <laughs> Open in that day was my sixth debut and par debut. Oh and my god! My Howard put in that night. I found out I was going on for par, and I was like, "You're like, okay, so crack my brain in half, why don't you?" I I'm not gonna lie. When I when I went on for par the night of my Howard put in, I did have a mental breakdown. Oh. I did cry. Of course, I cried of course, because I found out like I think two hours before the show. I found out right after the put in, and I was like. <laughs> You're like, I just want to go sit down. You cannot sit down. Oh, no. And I had been I on for, I had been on for part of that week, too. So then that Friday hit, and I was like, right, we're going to be chill. Everything's going to yeah. be yeah. And yeah. then they were like, hey. And I was like, oh, no. God. No, okay. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm well, I'm so proud of you. I mean, I'm sure you killed it. And that must have been so, like, fulfilling, too. Like, sometimes, I don't know if you feel this way, but, like, Sometimes throughout this job, there's been moments where I'm like, I can't believe my brain just did that. I can't yeah. believe that that my brain is able to make sense of this all and that I did that and it went fine. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Because, okay, so last week we had um, two, like, alt rounds. So I was on for par for the week. Um, right. Not, like, but the week. And I, like, I was doing par at night, but then, like, Wednesday, and Thursday, we had our like little alt run rehearsal. So right. Wednesday, I did a run of Wednesday, I did a run of Bo, and then at night I did Par. Thursday, I did a run of Howard, and then at night did Par. But I like I went into those two runs not reviewing at all because I just wanted to see where my brain was. Right. Um, and so I literally coming out of those days, I was like. Am I good? I was like, oh, my. <laughs> my brain, huge, gigantic. Yeah, huge, big brain activity. Yeah, big brain. It's so fun though, because you're like, wow, I'm the smartest person alive. Like, that's amazing. I feel like a genius, yeah. and I'm not gonna lie to you. Literally, yes, 100%. I'm so smart. 
Yeah. I can't wait for the day that you're going to be able to just like relax into it though. Like I feel like I don't even remember when I really got to that point, but yeah, because I didn't, I didn't really review for Howard when I debuted her because That's I, insane. I mean, first of all, I didn't have time, but second, I was like, you know what? I think my body will remember it. And, and you I'm, just did it. Yeah. And I feel very lucky with the fact that I definitely do have a swing brain. Like, yeah. I feel very, very lucky. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't imagine what this job would be like if you didn't have it. I would, I would actually die. Yeah. It's, this, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. But the most fun and, like, the most rewarding and fucking mm -hmm. crazy. And wow, we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's so crazy that, like, you're just starting your whole journey with this and I'm, like, ending mine. Like, Broadway works. Broadway works. Like, uh, passing the torch, you know? Like, take it, go, you know? Because that's what it was going to be for Howard, because you had just finished yeah. your Howard contract, and then I was about to start a Howard contract. And I was like, yeah. I am Abigail Sparrow. <laughs> we are we one person. Are <laughs> for <six>. Crying. Wow. <laughs> well, love you to death, man. Crazy. Crazy, Dude, crazy. I'm so proud of you. <sighs> Thanks, man. I'm excited. I'm like excited to see where the hell I go. Stream secondhand high because that is already on my uh, like playlist that I play every day. Yeah. I sing to it. Um. I so. Yay! I'm so glad. I'm so happy it's finally out. I like. Wow. The release of like, thank God, it's done and it's out. You know. And it's so good. So I I played it for all the all the people. I played it in our all. I was like, everyone listen to me. And it's like, thanks. Man. So good, and I was like, I know. I know. They're like, this doesn't seem like, a, like a debut EP album. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, thanks, Taylor. That means a lot. It's really yeah, good. I'm excited about it. Everyone, stream it. Yeah, guys, stream down below. Link below. <laughs> okay, I love you. I gotta go warm up and like actually get my fucking head in gear. But you're the best. I'm so proud of you. Love you. Yeah, and bye everyone watching this fucking FaceTime between me and Taylor. Please, this is just <laughs> it's a Okay, love ya. Love you. Bye. Bye. And bye everyone.